you all to the YouTube channel Now Dilhana Kriya. If you have not subscribed our YouTube channel, you can click the subscribe button and by clicking the bell icon, you can get the notifications throughout our videos. Then you can like us and uh, share us our videos and uh, you can watch these videos and get a clear understanding about maths and English knowledge one by one. Then, uh, today we are going to learn about the surface area of a cube and a cuboid. First of all, we will consider what are the differences between solids and plane figures. When considering solids, it is 3D objects. When considering plane figures, it is 2D objects. When uh, we consider about three uh, solids, it can be touched from all the sides and uh, when considering the plane figures, it cannot be touched from the, all the sides. We can see only one surface. Then, uh, what are the examples for solids? What are the examples for solids? Cube, cuboid, regular tetrahedron, cylinder, cone. Yeah, likewise we can get the examples for solids. Then what are the examples for plane figures? When we can understand the plane figures as square, rectangle, triangle, circle and all the polygons. What are polygons? Triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, all are plane figures. Then uh, we can understand the difference between the plane figures and the solids. Then here in this lesson we are learning about the solids, uh, mainly cube and the cuboid. Cube, when we consider about cube, it is very much important for us to learn the, about this cube. What are the qualities of a cube, dear students? Yes, we can understand there are six faces, eight vertices and twelve ledges on a cube. Then, uh, we must have the ability of finding the surface area of this cube. For that, we want to understand that we can get the area of one surface or else uh, area of one face and we can get the multiplication of that amount that means the number of sides it has there are six faces one face has to be multiplied by the six and uh, area of one face can be recognized yes you have the figure of a cube then area of one face. Here if we consider about this face, upper face, that face area can be get. Uh, all the sides are equal. Then one side is A. Then it can be concluded that A into A multiplied by the number of sides. Multiplied by the number of sides. What is the number of sides? Six. Six is the number of sides. Then we can conclude that a into a, a squared into 6. Uh, we can understand that we can get the uh, value by 6a squared. Yeah. Likewise, we can calculate the surface area of a cube. Then uh, the net of a cube can be here. That means unfolded figure. Folded figure is this one, unfolded figure is this one. A net of a cube, there are six faces uh, and we can understand the uh, edges and the vertices by using the net also. When we consider cuboid, here it is somewhat different. That means when we consider about cuboid, it has six faces same the qualities of the uh, same as the qualities of a 
but uh, it is totally different right here only opposite sides are equal either sides are equal and uh, we can calculate by uh, using the area of one uh, we can calculate the area of one face and multiply it by two because there are two equal sides on a cuboid yes it is very much important for us to learn these type of lessons then uh, you can share with these lessons with your friends and dear students when we consider about this cuboid we can calculate the surface area area a equals then uh, we must have the ability of finding the one face that means area a into b a into b 2 into we must multiply it by 2 because uh, it can be calculated by multiplying by 2 2 into a b area plus b c plus c a multiplication of two sides by using this equation you can calculate the area of a cuboid because there are the two opposite sides are equal on a cuboid here all the sides are equal because of that we multiplied by 6 here we can't multiply by 6 because all the sides are not equal then by the net also you can understand all the sides are not equal this is totally different than the cube net of a cube and a net of a cuboid right then uh, after that we are going to solve some example questions find the area yes one side is 10 centimeters area can be get area area 10 centimeters is the length of one side then we can get the area of one face as 10 into 10 it has to be multiplied by another 6 faces 6 10 into 10 100 100 into 6 600 surface area what is the unit of surface area if it is in centimeters, centimeters squared, centimeters squared. Likewise, we can get the surface area of a cube. Then you have a cuboid. Uh, it is totally different than the area of a cube. Here, dear students, uh, we must uh, keen about the uh, units that they have mentioned here 5 meters and 30 centimeters you have uh, the, they have denoted by using two different units then we want to equal the two uh, units and we want to solve the question uh, nicely yes here it is easy to convert the bigger unit into smaller unit Big unit to small unit, big unit to small unit. How can we get big unit to small unit? We can, we think that it can be divided. Not it is that, it is multiplied by the relationship. What is the relationship between meters and centimeters? One meter equals 100 centimeters. One meter equals 100 centimeters. Then dear students, 1 meter equal 100 centimeters 5 meters equal 500 centimeters yes 500 centimeters this side length then here 30 centimeters yeah then we can understand here we have a square then uh, the two all the sides are equal in here then uh, here if it is 30 centimeters here also 30 centimeters yes area a equal 2 into 
30 into 500 plus 30 into 30 plus 30 into 500 Yes, by solving this equation you can get an answer for the area of cuboid. 61,800 cm square. Yes, the surface area can be calculated like that. When we consider about the surface area of a cube and a cuboid, we can find the surface area of a cube by using, by getting the one side surface area into 6 then uh, surface area of a cuboid one side uh, surface area into 2 into the other relationships there are 3 relationships we want to multiply likewise we can get the understanding about surface area of a cube and a cuboid uh, from the uh, previous video you have learned about the surface area of some plane figures then uh, in future there will be another videos containing surface area and uh, the uh, area of some figures I will be solving some questions one by one in a near future video then thank you very much have a nice day uh, you can subscribe if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel. Thank you.